America. Oh, we both went about dang. our respective engagements as the days passed. He's gonna kill her! I spent all the time. He's I gonna do it! The lady at the bookshop stopped talked him into it! Then United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama, Haiti, Jamaica, Peru, Republic, Dominican, Cuba, Caribbean, Green, and El Salvador, too. Puerto Rico, Colombia, Venezuela, Honduras, Guyana, and still Guatemala, Bolivia, then Argentina, and Ecuador, Chile, Brazil. Man, on a road trip, like a long road trip, Nothing feels quite as good as that home stretch. And because I drove a vehicle from 6 o'clock this morning until 4 o'clock this afternoon, and I need to go to sleep. It's Liam Mouse Vlog, Liam Mouse Vlog, it's Liam Mouse's Vlog. Any final words? No. Okay. <laughs> it's too early. Sounds about right, yeah. <laughs> it was good seeing you, dude. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Sure, yeah, that. Oh, man. I'm about ready to head back. It's about six in the morning. <sighs> I got a nine and a half hour drive ahead of me. I'll just have to listen to my little spooky radio broadcast and power through. There might be a monster stop or two. <laughs> I hate driving. Bye bye Kansas City. It was nice seeing you. So hey, if you feel like coming down, if you feel like coming around, just call my name out loud. No.
Jamaica, Peru, Republic, Dominican, Cuba, Caribbean, Green, and El Salvador, too. Puerto Rico, Colombia, Venezuela, Honduras, Guyana, and still. Guatemala, Bolivia, then Argentina, and Ecuador, Chile, Brazil. Norway, and Sweden, and Iceland, and Finland, and Germany, now one piece. Switzerland, Austria, Czechoslovakia, Italy, Turkey, and Greece. Poland, Romania, Scotland, Albania, Ireland, Russia, Oman. Bulgaria, Saudi Arabia, Hungary, Cyprus, Iraq, and Iran. There's Syria, Lebanon, Israel, Jordan, both Gavage, Kuwait, and Bahrain. The Netherlands, Luxembourg, Belgium, and Portugal, France, and Denmark, and Spain. <laughs> some sunglasses because I realized I had left my other pair, my traveling car pair in Kevin's clear bag from when we went to the Royals game so I wore them in and then obviously it got dark because it was a night game and I didn't need them anymore, put them in his bag, totally forgot about them. So thankfully I haven't really needed sunglasses for the majority of the trip and it's starting to get a little sunny now so like I really I reached for where they are I'm like ah crap. So I had to get some, but yeah, so I go in the truck stop, right? And I'm looking at the rack of sunglasses. This burly old trucker guy, he just meanders up to me while I'm looking at the rack of sunglasses, right? And I grab this pair and I went to try them on and he goes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I was just, you know, I'm, I'm, I was loopy because I was freaking tired. So I wasn't really worried about social interaction. I was just like, whatever. So I was just like, I don't know. I think they make me look younger, don't you think? And he was just like, <laughs> I was like, okay. So then he like he hung around and he pointed to this really hideous blue pair that I never would have picked for myself. They're really squared and like they were blue and they're, they're clunky looking. And he's like, those would look good on you. And I was like, oh, you think so? So I tried them on just to, you know, be nice and hang, you know, talk for a second or whatever. So I tried them on and I was like, oh yeah. I was like, these will look good on the, while I'm on the Harley. And he's like, oh, what kind of Harley do you have? I was like, well, technically it's my boyfriend's, you know, but I think it's 1200. I think it's a 1200. I don't know. I've looked at the side of the thing enough times. I should know, uh, fairly certain it's a 1200. But he didn't even seem to understand what that meant anyway. And he's like, oh, that's no fun that it's just your boyfriend's. I was like, well, I get to ride it whenever I want. I, you know, didn't mean to imply I drove the thing, but I think it was implied. But it, it doesn't really matter. A stranger at a truck stop who gives a shit whether he thinks I drive the thing or not, right? And then I was like, yeah, we even take the dog on the bike. And he really loves it. And he was just like, Arr. And then I just, you know, put the other ones back while the blue ones back while, while I was saying that. And I just grabbed these and I just kind of laughed and walked over to the checkout. And I'm just like, well, all right then. I mean, honestly, having a little social interaction, even, no matter how weird it was, kind of woke me up a little bit. The monster definitely is helping, which is great. The sunglasses are essential because, yeah, it's, it's getting bright. I mean, I'm going north, which isn't like into the sun, thankfully. But obviously it's daytime, it's 11 o'clock, you know, just before noon here, an hour before noon. So it is a little bright and it's helping. I found another podcast, 1001 Ghost Chiller and Lovecraft Stories. And it's just like the Inner Sanctum thing. It's like that old time radio thing. And it's, it's not modern. There are ads on it, which is weird because there weren't ads on the Inner Sanctum but there are ads on this one, but it's still old time radio thing, which is awesome. I'm so glad that there's so many old time radio story, you know, podcast things. Because I mean, for crying out loud, can you imagine how these people would feel? They recorded this, you know, however long ago. Every single person who made these radio broadcasts is dead. They're like long dead. But can you imagine their, how they would feel knowing that people in this day and age with the technology that we have now and like what a podcast is, you know, it's like, oh my gosh, people are still listening to our broadcast, you know, in this environment, in this day and age, in this technology, in this modern era, like, 
I don't know. It's a neat thing to think about. I think about stuff like that. Clearly the monster is kicking in because I can't shut up. Thank God for energy drinks. I only drink energy drinks when I'm driving and I need it. You know what I mean? I think this is like the third monster I've ever had in my entire life and it was all road trip related. Oh. Okay, okay, let's put the yammering energy into driving, shall we? America. Oh, we both went to our respective engagements as the days passed. He's gonna kill her! I spent all the time. He's I gonna do it! The lady at the bookshop talked, talked him into it! Then comes the last day. He's gonna kill her! Yep, here it comes. He's digging a hole in the basement. Operator! Yeah. Operator, are you there? She's mean. I'm still waiting on that call to Salisbury. It's Hermione. Oh, father, open the door and stop saying yes, Hermione! I think, my dear, I've said it for the last time. Oh, damn! I told you he was gonna kill her! Oh, this is a good one! <laughs> We're in North Dakota! Never thought I'd say that! You know, with the woohoo in front of it. But woohoo! We're in North Dakota! Man. On a road trip, like a long road trip, nothing feels quite as good as that home stretch, you know? Everybody has their own home stretch. Mine is from Fargo to Grand Forks. That's the home stretch. That's what I'm on right now. And man, does it feel good. Woo! I had another monster. <laughs> oh, God. Good old Grand Forks. There's the hotel where I used to work. You can't see it, but it's there. And I'm about to exit off of 29. Oh my God, I've been on 29 since like six o'clock this morning. It's gonna feel weird going anything but 80 miles per hour. Oh my God, guys, I'm home. I can't believe I did that all in one shot. It is a quarter to five, a uh, quarter to four. Ugh. I left at six in the morning. I left Kansas, shut up. I left Kansas City at six in the morning. Alright, I guess you can watch from over there. <laughs> okay, come here. Cripes. I left Kansas City at 6 o'clock this morning, and it is now a quarter till 4. And I am, yeah, just pour it out in front of me. That's, that's good. Okay, very good. Good job. Back to good old Grand Forks, where everyone is a great A moron. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy to be home with my dearest. Yes, I am. We had a lot of snuggle time <laughs> and much needed. <laughs> He's scratching my butt right now. <laughs> e. <laughs> oh man, is it nice to be home in my own room, in my own bed, with my own Scrappy. Yes, Mama's home. Mama's home with the Scrappy. Yes. Oh, he went berserk when I walked in the door. He was snuffling, I'm so sorry about the light. He was snuffling the absolute bejesus out of me. <laughs> it was so sweet. And the cats were just kind of like, oh hey. Teeny has the zoomies. I don't know if she's chasing something or just being weird. What are you doing in there? Apparently very unaffected by my absence. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Did you get the zoomies? <laughs> anyway, I had an... My camera's broken. I totally dropped it at the zoo and it busted something and I have to get a little... The world's smallest screw and fix it. Jesus. At least it still records, that's all I care about. But anyway, yeah, it was a really, really good trip. Oh boy, good trip, but I'm glad it's over. <laughs> it's nice to be home where things are familiar and I can get up and poop naked in the middle of the night. Couldn't do that in Kansas City. <laughs> and it's nice to have Scrappy to sleep with in the bed again. I really, really miss this little guy. Yes, mommy missed hanging out with you in the bed. Yes, your mama's little snuggle buddy. Mama missed you. Yes. Obviously, the biggest part is I missed the heck out of JJ. Oh my god, I, oh god, I gave him like the world's longest hug when I got in. 
and then I gave him the world's second longest hug, and then I gave him the world's third longest hug. Yeah, I just could not stop hugging him. I was just like, oh my god, I missed you, I missed you, I missed you. And he did the same, which is why it took me three hours since when I got home to actually start vlogging like, hey, I got home, because we were just all over each other with the hugs and the snubbles and the I missed yous and stuff, and Scrappy, of course, was in on it as well. Where did he go? He burrowed under my blanket already. God, that little lump that under the orange, that's him. And I'm sorry, it's dark. I mean, there's still light coming in. It's just apparently not enough, but I am about to go to sleep. I want you guys to be able to see me. That's better. I am about to go to sleep um, and because I drove a vehicle from six o'clock this morning until four o'clock this afternoon. And I need to go to sleep. I'm very tired and I ordered food while JJ was still here. He went to work unfortunately. I had to get home and then send him to work, which sucks, but that's a life. But at least at least me and Scrappy get to hang out tonight. But yeah, I was just so freaking hungry. All I had all day was like this little gas station potato breakfast burrito thing at like 6.30 in the morning. And oh god, I was so hungry so I ordered Mexican food and wolfed it down while JJ was getting ready for work. And we were just talking and catching up and man was it nice. Yeah, I had a really good trip. I had a really good visit with Kevin. He's my best friend. I mean, okay, JJ's my best friend. But as far as just friends go, Obviously, Kevin's my best friend. Yeah, it was a really nice time. We did a lot of stuff, like a lot of stuff. My God, I mean, you saw it. <laughs> he told me today when I told him I got home, he said he was happy to have his personal space back. And I'm like, yeah, dude, I totally get it. Like, I'm looking forward to my own bed with Scrappy, you know, but it was a really good time. But yeah, it's really, it's actually really surreal to be home, if I'm honest. It's, it feels weird, you know what I mean? Like, it's familiar, but like, it's not. It's like, it's in a dream or something, but. Like, I was just driving for 10 hours and all of a sudden I'm home. It's like, ah. So, I'm gonna go to sleep. Thanks for hanging out. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the vlogs of the trip. The Halloween box is out. I mean, it's not as of the time we're recording this, but by the time this gets online, it will be. So, I have new Halloween products and the Halloween subscription box. You don't want to miss it. The deadline is September 25th if you want the box, but the individual Halloween products are gonna be there at your leisure to purchase, you know, whatever. So, we're hanging out. Out. Uh, don't forget to watch out for the sheep as always vlog phrase of the day is there's no place like home <laughs> all right thanks for hanging out I will see you next time I love you I appreciate you okay bye